Hi guys, my name is Mary. Welcome back to my channel if you're not new here and welcome if you are new. Um, today I'm going to be talking about a book called The Betrothed by Kiri Cass. This is her newest release. It came out on May 6th or 7th, I believe. And it is the first, and I want to say it I think it's going to be a trilogy. I haven't found anything. I've been re looking up trying to find out because it's very interesting to me. Um, so basically it's about um, we're in this world and it's very similar-ish to the selection. And we follow a girl named Hollis, Lady Hollis in the book. And we follow her being in the castle and she is set to be married to the king, King Jameson. Um, he is like 18. His parents had died earlier, I think a year before or something like that. We didn't get a lot of backstory. But it's basically that story of that and her deciding whether or not she wants to marry him or another guy who gets introduced and is from a, like, warring country and that he, they he is escaping with his family trying to find peace in their nation and so yes that's what it's about and honestly i didn't really like it all that much i found it to be slow and boring at times we didn't really get a backstory into hollis's um life um, because of, like, the main books that Kira Cass has written, I'm speaking of the Selection, the Selection Trilogy, so that's the Selection, the One, the Elite, um, also the Heir and the Crown. I've read those five. And then we have Siren and now the Betrothed. And so the only one I haven't read is Siren. I've read some of the, like, epilogues and stuff, and so, um, yeah. But of the, like, main full-length books that she has put out, I've only not read one. And so I feel like I can say I know her writing style pretty well. And this isn't something I expected. Um, I'm not trying to compare this book to the selection, even though it is extremely similar to the selection. Um, mostly because it's not just Lady Hollis in the castle. It's also a lot of other girls in the castle. And so it's, like, the higher-up families in their country. I don't remember the name of the country because um, this book, I barely remembered anything. I had to re read reviews before I was filming this. Um, and so, like, there are a lot of parallels between the two books. Um, I will say it is a lot. There is not as much, like, war. There's only one war scene. War scene, and that's towards the end of the book. And it's meant to, like, keep you interested for the next one. Um, I will say there is a pretty big cliffhanger. Um, I personally did not really like the ending all that much, but it was, like, good enough that's gonna keep me interested enough for the next book. Um, I believe it's a stu at least a duology because it has a number one next to it on Goodreads. Um, so yeah. Um, but all in all, I, like, I don't like giving books a number because, yeah, I just don't like that idea. And so I honestly, like, I'm, like, very indifferent about this book. Because it's just, it's very non-rememberable for me. Like, I didn't remember people's names all that much. I didn't remember the name of the two countries in it. I forgot, like, major plot things. Um, like, I just, I don't remember stuff. Like, it's that simple. Um, I have a terrible memory. Like, I'll say that. That might be part of it. But there are books... Like, there are other books that I remember almost everything that happens, like Divergent and, um, The Fall in Our Stars and Looking for, or not Looking for Alaska, but, um, but there are, like, stable books that I can tell you pretty much everything that happened. Um, Wonder, pretty, I remember most of what happens in that book. I remember most of what happens in Percy Jackson, The Lightning Thief. Like, there are just books I know what happens in because it, it, it drew me in so much and I was so captured into it. That the the even my that it didn't stop my my bad memory did not stop me from knowing what, like what happened and remembering, and so all in all I think this book is a decent book. I think if you didn't like how much action there was in the selection, you would like this. Um, there I like action with a little romance in my books because action keeps me interested, and the romance satisfies my rom com heart. And so we, uh, 
I did not like this book. And so, but I'm not saying it's a bad book. I'm saying it wasn't for me. Um, I think you should totally read this. I think if you like the selection series because of how much action there was, you might not like this book. I think if you wanted more romance from the selection series, you will like it. Do not go into it thinking it's a steamy romance like apparently so um, a journal or some article claimed it was. I saw that on a review and it's not. It's not steamy at all. There's like three kisses and the entire book. And it's not steamy. Like, it's not nowhere near what I think they meant by that. But, no, there's, like, nothing, no, no, like, sexual thing at all. Like, nothing. There's, I think, a total of three kisses between characters in general. So, if that's why you want to read it, don't do that because you're not going to be satisfied. But, yeah, that's basically my review. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have read this book, let me know in the comments what you also thought of it, because I think it'd be interesting to talk about it and, um, do it. Um, if you, a lot of people haven't read it, we won't do spoilers, but I think that I won't continue just because I wasn't invested and, yeah, and, or I might do, like, what I did with The Crown is I audiobooked it just enough to see if a specific character was okay from the air and after that I didn't pay attention while the audiobook happened like it said I read it so I don't know what I'm gonna do but I know for sure I'm at least reading the synopsis of the next book so hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you guys in my next video peace out love you all